What if I told you that one of the best baseball players in the world is only 5 feet 6 inches tall? That's right, Jose Altuve is the shortest active player in the MLB, but he has proven that size does not matter. In this video, I'm going to show you how he rose from humble beginnings in Venezuela to become a superstar in the US. Altuve was born on May 6, 1990, in Maracay, Venezuela, a city about 70 miles west of Caracas. He grew up in a humble family, with his father, Carlos, working as a construction worker, and his mother, Lastanaya, as a housewife. He had a younger brother, Carlos Jr., who also loved baseball. Altuve's passion for the game started when he was a kid, playing with his friends on the streets and watching his favorite team, the Tigres de Aragua, on TV. He idolized players like Omar Vizquel, Roberto Alomar, and Craig Biggio, and he dreamed of becoming a professional baseball player like them. But Altuve faced many challenges in pursuing his dream. One of them was his height. Altuve is only 5 feet 6 inches tall, which is very short for a baseball player. Many people doubted his abilities and told him he was too small to play. Altuve did not let that stop him. He worked hard to improve his skills and prove his critics wrong. He said, I always believed in myself. I always thought I could do it. I never gave up. Another challenge was the lack of opportunities in Venezuela. Altuve did not have access to the best facilities, equipment, or coaching. He had to make do with what he had, and sometimes he had to travel long distances to find a place to play. He also had to deal with the political and economic instability in his country, which made life difficult and dangerous for many people. Altuve said, it was tough growing up in Venezuela. There were a lot of problems, a lot of violence, a lot of insecurity. But I always had the support of my family and my friends. They always encouraged me and helped me. Altuve's big break came in 2007, when he was 16 years old. He attended a tryout camp for the Houston Astros, hoping to get signed as an amateur free agent. But he was rejected by the scouts, who thought he was too small and too young. Altuve was devastated, but he did not give up. He came back the next day, wearing a different shirt, and asked for another chance. He impressed the scouts with his speed, his hitting, and his attitude. He said, I just wanted to show them what I could do. I wanted to play baseball. I wanted to be an Astro. The Astros decided to give him a chance, and they signed him for $15,000, which was a very low amount compared to other prospects. Altuve began his professional career in the minor leagues, playing for various teams in the Astros' farm system. He quickly rose through the ranks, showing his talent and potential. He was named the second baseman on Baseball America's 2011 minor league all-star team, and he tied the record for most consecutive games with a hit to start a career with seven. He made his major league debut on July 20, 2011, at the age of 21, becoming the youngest player in the National League at the time. He said, it was a dream come true. I was so happy and excited. I couldn't believe it. Altuve soon established himself as one of the best players in the league, and one of the leaders of the Astros. He became known for his contact hitting, his speed, his defense, and his hustle. He won three L batting titles, in 2014, 2016, and 2017, becoming the first Astro to win a batting title. He also led the Allen stolen bases twice, in 2014 and 2015. He became the first player in over 80 years to reach 130 hits and 40 stolen bases before the All-Star Game, in 2014. He won six Silver Slugger Awards, an AL record for second baseman, and one Gold Glove Award. He was selected to eight All-Star Games, the most for an Astro, and he was voted the starting second baseman five times. Altuve's greatest achievement came in 2017, when he helped the Astros win their first World Series title in franchise history. He had an amazing season, batting .346 with 24 home runs and 81 RBIs. He won the AL MVP, the Hank Aaron Award, and the Babe Ruth Award. He also became the Sports Illustrated's co-sportsperson of the year, along with J.J. Watt of the NFL's Houston Texans, for their contributions to the relief efforts after Hurricane Harvey, which devastated Houston and other parts of Texas. Altuve said, It was a very special year for me and for the team. We wanted to win for the city, for the fans, for ourselves. We worked hard, we played hard, we had fun. We made history. Altuve continued to excel in the following years, leading the Astros to another World Series appearance in 2019, and winning his second title in 2022. He also became one of the most prolific postseason hitters in history, setting records for most hits, most home runs, and most RBIs in the playoffs. 
he hit a walk-off home run to win the 2019 ALCS, and he was named the ALCS MVP. He also hit for the cycle on August 28, 2023, becoming the first Astro to do so. Altuve said, I love playing in the postseason. It's the best time of the year. It's when you have to give everything you have. It's when you make memories that last forever. Altuve is widely regarded as one of the greatest Astros in franchise history and one of the best second basemen of his generation. He has inspired many people with his story, his passion, and his humility. He has shown that size does not matter and that anything is possible with hard work, determination, and faith. He said, I'm very grateful for everything that has happened to me. I thank God, I thank my family, I thank my teammates, I thank the fans. I'm very proud of who I am and where I come from. I'm very happy to be an Astro. I love baseball. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the incredible journey of Jose Altuve, from poverty to stardom. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.